When it comes to nutrition, we are probably the most educated generation. The chicken given antibodies looks just like free range grain fed poultry and organic bananas look just like regular ones. But as informed consumers, we recognize the subtle but potentially dire effects on our food. So do we ever consider how our food affects us spiritually? This week's Parsha introduces the Torah's dietary laws. Kosher animals must have split hooves and chew their cud. Fish need fins and scales, and there is a list of forbidden fowl. Perhaps these requirements teach us our food's spiritual profile. The non-kosher animal's closed hoof represents a spiritual quality of rigidity, being closed off to the plight of others. The kosher animal's split and open hooves teach us to be approachable and receptive to growth. Chewing its cud reminds us how we too need to chew things over and not be quick to judge. Fins that propel a kosher fish forward represent ambition. Our ambition needs to be tempered by protective scales, which represents integrity and principles. On the surface, we may not be able to differentiate between many kosher and non-kosher foods, but on a spiritual and mystical level, unkosher food can clog our spiritual arteries. And perhaps there is no generation better equipped to understand this than our own.